Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we have a new iOS release. iOS 13.2.2 has been released today by Apple and it brings a very important fix to your iPhone. So if you're on iOS 13.2, I suggest you go ahead and update to this new software as it will fix a very huge problem that a lot of people have been facing with iOS 13.2. Now, what I'm talking about is like RAM management, multitasking, all that stuff. So basically, apps that you have on the background on iOS 13.2, they will just quit on the background. So you can see right here, I have a bunch of apps open. And if I go to one of them, it will be still there. It's still like loaded. I can just go ahead and work anything I want on it. Go to another one, it's also ready to go. But with iOS 13.2, that was broken. So basically multitasking was broken on iOS 13.2. And that of course made a lot of people angry as you have an app on an apps on the app switcher. You go ahead, want to try to open that app. It will have to reload. Maybe you'll leave something you're composing like a post or something. And that would basically just reload the app from the beginning. But now that has been fixed with iOS 13.2.2. So here we have the change log of iOS 13.2.2. And as you can see, this update will fix the issue that could cause some apps to quit while running in the background. It also will resolve another issue where the iPhone might temporarily lose mobile signal after you hang up a call and also will address another issue where mobile data might temporarily be unavailable so there are other few fixes as well but the first one is of course the most important one so if you have been having that issue with multitasking apps quitting on the background without you closing them of course then this update should fix that so go ahead and update immediately to ios 13.2.2 now if you're on ios 13.3 beta as I am here, this has already been fixed and it's working flawlessly, but with iOS 13.2, that is still a bug. So go ahead and update as soon as possible. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 13.2.2. No major like change or new features and all that stuff, but a very, very important fix for all the users because that will make your experience using your iPhone really worse so go ahead and update to this new software in order to fix that thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more ios 13 videos and i will see you guys on the next one